You gotta ask yourself, do you really want to go down with these guys? That answer? Nope, you most certainly do not. This is Mayo's Triple Play, Fantasy Busts. With the playoffs on the line, you just can't start Chris Ivory, unless, you know, it's a gag in the consolation round. And also, if your consolation round has money on the line, just don't start Chris Ivory. Because it boils down to this. The Jets suck, Ivory sucks, and the game's in Carolina. The Panthers have given up just three rushing scores all season, and just one at home. And New York's gonna be behind and throwing, where there won't be any Chris Ivory, because he can't catch. Kirk Cousins, the cuz. It's a good matchup against Atlanta, I get that, but why would you play him when there are better, safer options available? It's needlessly risky, and he hasn't looked good in relief so far this year, so there's that too. And you gotta ask yourself, do you really wanna make your last stand with Kirk Cousins? Unless you're doing a Custer impression, I would advise against that. There's two types of playoff teams. Mega powers with stars littered across the roster, and an all-fill-in team with great savvy waiver wire pickups all year long. And that doesn't really matter. If you're the favorite, you have to keep away from Mike Wallace, because he'll have you asking, where the fuck is Wallace? Too much zero potential there. You need to swing for the fences as an underdog? Sure, but don't be stunned when he does nothing. And those are my three busts for week 15, so if you're playing Daily Fantasy over at DraftKings.com, you might want to stay away from them. And if you go to DraftKings.com, you'll notice there's loads of daily tournaments that run every day in every sport. But the football one you need to be playing is the Sunday 200 grand. And yes, that's a guaranteed prize pool of $200,000. If you want some of that cash, go to DraftKings, get the details, and sign up right now. I'm Pat Mayo. Good luck in the fantasy playoffs, and I shall see you next time.